Hi everyone, thanks for watching Access Hockey MI. As always, we love that you come alongside us in our hockey news. If you're new to the Griffins organization, if you're new to the structure that we've got going on on our channel, which is a lot of Red Wings and Griffins coverage, you might not know the name Eric Tangrady, but Eric Tangrady was with the Griffins organization for a few seasons mm -hmm. and has since been re-signed to the Griffins as of last week, Friday. He actually played in that game as well. So we're going to talk about that acquisition, what it means for the Griffins, what it could mean for the future, what we think that means for what they're trying to mm -hmm. get across for the future and what players we need. Um, so Eric Tangrady has played in the NHL and the AHL for, for pretty much his whole career. Yes. He's been with the Jets. He's been with the, uh, the Red Wings, of course, the Devils, Pittsburgh. Um, and he's been around the block and he knows his stuff. He's a very physical player. He's a forward. He's He's gritty. <laughs> <laughs> and I think all of that is kind of going to tie in at the end when we kind of say that our, like our guesses about why he was signed again. But um, we're going to talk a little bit more about him and Rachel. Keep going. <laughs> so first things first, when you said gritty, I thought of Philadelphia's mascot. <laughs> Not a good thing. Anyway. Shout out to the furry thing. <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to be. <laughs> no offense, guys. Um, ours is an octopus. Right. Um, so Tangrady, he played with the Griffins 2015-16, 16-17, 17-18. So he's got a history with us. He was part of the leadership team during that time, too, as an alternate captain. Mm -hmm. He won a Calder Cup with us in 16-17. Um, he was eighth in points overall in 17-18. So he's got a lot of stats and effective point production to back him up. Mm -hmm. So when it was announced that he had returned from the KHL, which is where he was this at the beginning of the season, to Grand Rapids, and it was announced literally 30 minutes before they were set to take the ice for warm-ups, um, it was huge news because Tane Grady was absolutely imperative to our we victory. Were, I know I was sad when he left. Yeah, so he left absolutely. in after the 17-18 season for the Binghamton Devils. Um, who we don't face ever in Grand no. Rapids. Um, but it was hard to see him go just because, like she said, he was with a lot of the veteran leadership. So mm -hmm. Matt Ford, who's still on the team right now, formerly on the team, Ben Street, he played yeah. with these guys throughout um, the, his tenure with us, yeah. or at least for the 16-17 playoff mm -hmm. run, which he had 19 points in 19 games yeah. and won that season. Yeah, so the man can work. Yes. The biggest thing with, with Tane Grady and what was instantly noticeable when the game he came back was his physical presence. Yes. Um, he is incredible in what has been coined Gretzky's office, so the trapezoid behind the net. He was always the best at that. Using his body and his stick handling is just impeccable. So you could instantly tell his effect on the team yeah. that day. And the crowd was very excited yeah, to welcome so, him back. Like I said, if you're new to the Griffins organization or new to following um, our coverage of them, you won't really know this name. But Eric Tangrady, he's, like Rachel was saying, he's really good on the boards. He's good in front of the net. Um, he gets the points and he had the mm -hmm. only goal in Friday's game um, against... Rockford. Yes. Yes, Rockford. It's been like three <laughs> One days. One of the dozens of times we're going to look at them this right. season. <laughs> um, and you can tell he's a gritty force on the ice. So mm -hmm. currently we have um, Dylan McElrath up with the Detroit Red Wings, and we haven't seen him for much of the season. Yeah. He is who we would consider a Griffins enforcer, mm -hmm. which is just a guy who's out there physically on the ice. Everyone mm -hmm. knows that Mac is going to get in your face if you get in his friend's face and, <laughs> or his. Um, and right now on the Griffins, we've had Smith on and off, mm -hmm. Giovanni Smith, who's also kind of that presence, yeah. a little more um, offensive than an enforcer usually ends up being. Yep. But Tangrady, I wouldn't say he's an enforcer, no. but it's the physical presence on the ice. You can already see he's a very passionate player. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't put up with crap, Yes, <laughs> which is yeah. great. So he's a very passionate yeah. player. He's going to stick up for his teammates and himself, which is something I think the Griffins need. Absolutely. And they, right now, they're struggling to find um, some cohesion, some chemistry, and we've talked about it before. Really, the locker room can't figure out what in the world's going on. Young players got to step up, and Tang Grady is just the kind of guy that he's going to come in and take those young players under his wing because he's been there before. Mm -hmm. I talked to him post-game on Friday, and he said that's exactly what he said. He goes, I've been in this position before. I know how these guys are feeling, and I want to do what I can to lead this team. And so you can already tell him right there. <laughs> yeah, his mindset, he's like, I'm back home. That's yeah. what he called it. He's back home. He wants this team to be successful, and I think that's going to be huge for just the overall feel of the team mm -hmm. and how they play, and you could already see it. I was going to say, you can already tell it's made yeah. a difference. And I think, um, speaking of the Griffins' future, so they are currently still on a losing streak. They're heading into a long road month of December, mm -hmm. so they have quite a few games away. Not sure the number in particular, but we'll let you know down in this description. Yes. Um, so they're say, say it's like six or seven. They're games. heading out. It's it's a two week stretch at least in California, and they have right now a really bad road record. Yes. I believe it's one and eight. 
Yeah, I it's, believe it's not great. They're they're tied for their worst losing streak since 2010. Their penalty kill is off. Their power mm-hmm. play is off. Their winning is off. Their losing streaks are on, and they have. <laughs> That's not the kind of on you want to be. <laughs> right. So we are looking at a lot of encouragement, is what I'm saying, in Eric Tangrady, and he's not, of course, going to carry the team, but he's going right. to be a necessary push with mm-hmm. all the guys he's played with, with coaching these young offensive players up. I think it's just going to be a. It was a really good acquisition, especially yeah. even for like Grand Rapids fans. He yes. got a standing ovation at the game. We all know who he but, scored the only goal for us in that game on his first game back. And but that shows he of the first period he had there were ten shots on goal from the Griffins and he had five of the ten. So yeah. <laughs> basically, what we're saying is he's going to drive the net. Yes. He's going to get some points, mm-hmm. um, and I think it's going to be a great mm-hmm. thing for him. To yeah, get back on the team. and and and. This is all to say, too, that we're, we're not trying to make it seem like he's going to be the savior of the team right, yeah. by any stretch. He's just one man. But at the same time, he's one man that can help bring the team back together um, yeah. and kind of get them all on the same level. And, and Ford and Lashoff are thrilled to have him back, too. Yeah, we, we mainly wanted to just talk about this to get those who don't know who Eric Tangrady is, yeah. get, get you guys a little knowledge on yeah. who he is and those who remember who he was and maybe lost track of him. Get familiar with him. Yeah, get familiar <laughs> with him. He's going to be with us, at least for this. He's signed mm-hmm. for the rest of the season. Um, so let's see what he can do on the team yeah. and what the team can do to rally around um, and get this losing streak broken. So Absolutely. let us know in the comments what you're thinking about um, the current uh, streak <laughs> that Griffins are on, which is at six games of a losing yeah. streak. Seven? Six? Seven? seven? It's a losing streak. We're at seven right now. doesn't matter how many. You just know it's a streak. So we, don't it's more want, than, we don't want a streak of More than one. <laughs> um, so yeah, just let us know what you're thinking in the mm-hmm. comments. We always love reading those, mm-hmm. as you know. And if you're familiar with Tang Grady, let us know your thoughts about him as a player. You know, what do you think he can contribute that we hadn't mentioned? And what do the Griffins need to do to get out of this funk? Yes. Well, let us know. Not a good funk. Yeah. We will see you guys next time.